Amazon, eBay. Most would associate these two companies with the beginnings of e-commerce. However, other companies began laying the groundwork for e-commerce as early as the 1960s with the invention of computers. Today, this booming technology has made it easy to order pretty much anything you want, but through the internet. Went to the store to pick up a product, but you couldn't find it? That's okay. You can find it online. Not sure how much to pay for your next television? No problem. Through e-commerce, you can compare prices and find the best deal without leaving your home. The possibilities are endless as to where this technology may lead us. Imagine being able to go to a store without your wallet. Just walk up to the register. The clerk scans a chip located in your arm, and your payment is processed. Our world is becoming more interconnected every day, and our e-commerce options will continue to expand. To better understand where we're going, first, we must find out how it all started. The history of electronic commerce begins with the history of electronic data interchange. The common definition of EDI is the computer-to-computer -computer interchange of business transactions which conform to specific standards over communications network between trading partners. Under this definition, the origins of EDI dates back to the mid-1960s as a proprietary way to exchange business information electronically in the transportation industry. Several railroad companies started the Transportation Data Coordinating Committee in 1968 to standardize EDI within their industry, followed by the retail industry and then the grocery industry. By 1973, the TDCC decided to develop a set of living standards for EDI for all companies which resulted in the first inter-industry EDI standard that governed air, motor, ocean, rail, and some banking applications. In 1979, the American National Standards Institute, ANSI, designated the X-12 Accredited Standards Committee, ASC, to standardize EDI documents so that they could be used by any business. ANSI X-12 was first published in 1981, a WINS format for the warehouse industry, and later a USC format for the food and drug industries and for TDCC. During the late 1990s, with the explosive growth of the internet, electronic commerce took on a new definition. 1998 saw the ANSI ASC X-12 incorporating XML into the standards to control the emerging global online market. This allowed individuals and smaller businesses to evade traditional large commitments and expenses through the use of technology, thus giving way to the growing capitalism of the online marketplace. E-commerce has come a long way since it began. If you run a Google search, you'll find many opinions and dates regarding its inception, but companies like Amazon and eBay paved the road to what we see today. Amazon debuted in July 1995 and quickly became the number one book-related site on the web. Since then, Amazon has added music, movies, computer software, video games, electronics, toys, cloud storage, services, and a slew of other products that goes on and on. eBay, on the other hand, provides customer-customer transactions and auction-style experiences. So what has changed since these two global online giants began? Competition, for one thing. There are countless online e-commerce websites to choose from. What makes one better than the other? That is not easy to answer. But website usability, the advent of Web 2.0, and improved purchasing security have changed how customers perceive these sites and keep them coming back for more. A consumer can visit an e-commerce retailer and research the product on the same website before making a decision. Consumers help each other out as well by leaving product and service feedback regarding their experience. Most sites have user forms or blogs for product support, research, and updates. Or you need a problem resolved, a chat session with a technical support agent, or a remote desktop session to resolve the issue is often available. The recent advances in security and usability tools have given shoppers a better sense of independence and trust in online companies. With all those companies to choose from, it's hard to determine the best place to shop online today. You can find just about anything you would normally shop for in person at an online store. Some of them are the exact same brands as the brick and mortar stores you're used to. Others are completely internet only companies from the ground up. The usual suspects are easy to recognize. Amazon, the largest in the first, followed closely by retail giant Walmart and now even some of America's favorite department stores like Nordstrom's, Kohl's, and Target are joining the online world to su supplement their traditional storefronts and reduce the hassle of visiting the store in person during busy seasons or just for year-round convenience. Specialty stores are becoming popular too. If you need custom-fitted golf clubs or sports equipment, handmade fishing rods or boats, 
ready to build computers with only the options you choose, or anything else you can think of, just add to cart at dozens of online shops that tailor to your world of play, work, or recreation. Maybe that's still not enough for you. You can get into a bidding war on eBay to get the cheapest price possible for that collector item, or now even venture online to shop for some of the world's finest cigars. Americans can't buy Cubans anymore, so the best tobacco growers, rollers, and blenders in the world have fled to the other countries through the years to continue making the best smokes money can buy that are also available to the U.S. And that now heavily extends into today's online economy. The weekly trips to the store, from the basic necessities to the extravagant birthday gift, are just a click away at so many retailers it can make your head spin. So stay savvy, take your time to find exactly what you want, and enjoy today's near endless options for online shopping. All commerce has changed throughout history. E-commerce will evolve too, not only in purchasing items online, but how you use them through different technologies and financial institution networks. The not-so-new technology of RFID and NFC might soon take over how you pay for things. You won't have to carry your wallet around with you anymore if these features catch on. In fact, one mainstream banking institution, Wells Fargo, currently uses RFID chips in their debit cards that allow touchless payments with participating vendors. More recently, the New Jersey Turnpike has started to accept payments using NFC, in particular Google Wallet, which is available in current versions of Android. With NFC included in smartphones and major tech companies such as Google, HTC, and Samsung developing better and more secure technology, it won't be long before you ditch your wallet and start paying by just flashing your phone. Not ready to ditch your wallet yet? Afraid of losing or forgetting your cell phone somewhere? That's where RFID can help. In fact, it's already on its way. In 2004, sparsely closed club goers on the beaches in Barcelona needed a better way to carry their money. The solution? A rice sized chip implanted into their arm that links right to their bank account. A simple scan and you paid your bill. No wallet, no cell phone, just a chip. In the future, a simple implant of a small RFID chip will vastly change the way we buy things. As you can see, e-commerce has come a long way and will continue to do so. From an idea that was started to aid in the exchange of information to the some of the earliest e-commerce sites like Amazon and eBay, you can see how much technology has advanced purchasing power. With most companies providing online ordering to accompany their retail stores, it wouldn't be out of the question to say we're headed toward a future where stores are used primarily to demo products rather than even purchase them. Someday we could be making all of our purchases online. With the aid of technologies such as RFID, who knows where that may take us and what other conveniences lie ahead waiting to change the marketplace.